Hi, thanks for joining me today. Would you like to know what step parents who've been a step parent for 20, 30 years say uh, what it's like when you eventually get there? I post once a week, so subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and I'll let you know every time I post. So what happens in the end when the step family evolve into being a success? Those stepchildren will have grown up and they will be leading their own lives now. One of life's little mottos that's useful in step parenting is live and let live. And the sooner you can get to that stage, the more comfortable you and they can be. And one of the things that you learn as a parent or a step parent is that ultimately everybody lives their own lives and you can't live it for them. When they're young and growing up, you still can't live their lives for them. What happens to them is not going to have been the same as what happened to you. You, or any adult, can only help, support and be there for somebody else. And when they grow up, then they will make decisions for themselves and their own lives. And you are still there to help and support if that's welcomed. But ultimately, you can't control others, but what does a step parent have to do to get to that end situation where you can find enjoyment, love, dare I say, and happiness? Well, firstly, I'm a bit nervous about saying that you get to happiness because life is only ever a journey and you're only ever on that journey. So there's always stuff happening. But I think that the message for a step parent is to keep this end in mind. The end where you want to be able to get along. But this end goal, if you like, needs to be totally flexible. We don't know what the future holds. So any number of end results could be perfectly acceptable. And therefore, as a step parent, I think that as soon as you can let go of wanting things to be a particular way or insisting on stuff, the better. And really, as a step parent, you are only there for the stepchildren to help them make the best and the most of life. But you're not in control of that and there is no right or wrong end or decision or conclusion. It's all just about not sweating the small stuff, letting things go, managing yourself so that you can let things go. In a step family, you don't have as much control as you do in a family where all the children belong to you and your partner. It's just not like that. But the sooner you can just go with the flow and accept what is and work with what is and not get desperately upset or disappointed that things aren't different to the way that they are, then the more you can get to that goal faster. I think that as a parent, you get to the same end conclusion. You want things for your own children and then they don't work out like that. And in the end, as a more elderly person than you are now, you learn to accept things and enjoy your stepchildren for what they are. You only have this one life. Relax.